Here at Dipley, we picked up some dry ice and decided to try some cool experiments with it. Dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. CO2 becomes frozen through sublimation, which is the transition of gas into a solid without ever being a liquid. For our first experiment, we broke a slab of dry ice into small chunks. Then, we put the chunks of dry ice in a bowl. We added water to the bowl to rapidly sublimate the dry ice into CO2 gas. We soaked a long strip of cloth in a bubble solution. Then we dragged that rag across the bowl, covering the surface with a soap bubble. And here's what happened. The CO2 gas expanded the bubble until the surface finally broke, creating a cool waterfall of heavy fog. Our next experiment uses the same ingredients. This time, we blew bubbles over the dry ice bowl. The oxygen in the bubbles is lighter than the CO2, so the bubbles float and bob on the surface of the bowl. This experiment shows how metals react to dry ice. Metal is a good conductor of heat, so the coin rapidly transfers heat to the dry ice. This creates CO2 gas, which pushes the coin away. The result is a loud, fast vibration until the coin loses all of its heat. Then, we had some fun with what was left. Because of the extreme cold of dry ice, we decided to freeze a bunch of stuff and smash it. And there you have it, fun, cool experiments with dry ice.